Hi, I'm Davila. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create and edit content on the Squid CMS with the inline editing interface. I've just created a new page here on my website and I'm editing it from this inline editing view where content authors can create content while seeing how it will be presented with the current site's design. So you can effortlessly edit text and media to your liking. So what I'll do here is I'll start by applying one of our predefined site layouts to my page to show the slide navigation and remove the breadcrumbs. All right, that looks good. Now here is where you can experience the ease of on-page content creation and editing with our WYSIWYG box, which I'll add here. And this is similar to using any other web editor. You can edit anything. Our WYSIWYG interface enables you to visually edit any content exactly the way you want, and it includes all these formatting options so you can style your content. I'll start by adding a heading for my page, undergraduate research, and I'll use the formatting tools to apply a heading style. Cool. Now, what if you're con uh, copying content that's from a document. The WYSIWYG editor also recognizes formats you paste in and will make sure the content headings and styles are the same. So what I have here is a Word document with some content. I have a header, an image, some bullet points. I'll copy this as is, and then I'll paste it right into my component. There we go. And then you can see the headings appear and some of the styles match, but now the font matches the website styles. And I can also choose to edit this where I want as well. I'll add another component to this page to display a hero banner to make this page more visually appealing. I can add any image from our media library with this asset selector right here. And what I'll do is just select some campus flowers. That looks nice. Now, since I started building this page as components, I can now rearrange the page structure with our drag and drop on the side. So I'll rearrange the components to the way that I want them to appear and I'll save that. And if you're a web developer and you prefer to create content in code snippets, you can use the code component to add any lines of HTML, CSS, or JavaScript code that you want. I'll open up my code editor and add some lines of code to display a callout box. Paste that in there. Okay, cool. Now, once you're done with editing your content, you can use this picture perfect preview at the top in the menu. And this lets you preview exactly how your content will look on the page before it gets published. So we had my code snippet here, just above that was that content copied from my Word document um, and my hero banner. Squiz builds responsive website designs by default, so your content should always be accessible on all devices. But if you aren't sure, you can use this selector to preview your page on various devices. I'm just checking my mobile view since I know that this is one of the most used devices when our content is viewed. And when you're finished, don't forget to confirm you aren't breaking any accessibility rules with our accessibility checker right in this page. You can flick through the list of errors and warnings and notices and fix your changes where it highlights them just before you publish your content. Now, this video only showed you how flexible the web content editor can be when you're using our hero banner, the WYSIWYG editor, or code components to build the page. Squiz provides other tools for building faster web pages and helping you produce more compelling content. Have a look at the Squiz web components to see how you can use reusable modular content without the technical skills typically required to design and build these on your site. Thanks!